we got here a little too late. It's already closed today, but I just had to show you. Look at this laneway. Like, I feel like I shouldn't even be driving on it. It's so stunning. anyways I'm in Upper New York State anybody know anything about this or how about this pond or how about that waterfall right there or you know I love the animals we got some sheep and we got some ducks or swans maybe. I'm not quite sure. I haven't went close enough to really tell. <gasps> Look at these willow trees that come right down and drape into the water. It's like a fairy tale place. Y'all, if you got a few minutes and as provided no one comes and kicks me out, I am here all by myself. And I might be trespassing, I'm not sure. <laughs> But check this out. Do you know what this is? Jill, do you know where I am? I am walking around the Mackenzie Child Estate, people. The Mackenzie Child Estate. My phones are dead. Well, this one I just charged enough to do this quick walk. My other one is charging in the van. I was hoping to be here for three o'clock when it was still open but I kind of got lost. <laughs> and now I am walking around all by myself in the Mackenzie Child Estate. Now I believe this is open to the public and you can tour it. I would love to peek in the windows, but you know, with my luck, someone's in there. But look at this, y'all, phenomenal. Yeah, Wendy Mackenzie Child Estate, and I'm here solo. I'm here all by myself. I'm in Aurora, New York State. It is closed right now. It's gonna reopen tomorrow, <laughs> but I'm here. Look at the pumpkins. Look at those doors. Oh my gosh. Y'all, is this not stunning? Look at the cushions over there with the stripes, the black and white stripe, and then it's got the tassel. <gasps> Y'all. Oh my gosh. It's just so dreamy. Mm. So <laughs> I've got to find a place to sleep. There's no Walmarts close by. There's no Cracker Barrels no nearby. There's no parks nearby, but there is someone pulling up the laneway here. So they might be telling you to get lost. 
oh, there's some sort of character back there that's checked. Can you see it back there? Hmm. Now that there's someone here, I'm a little nervous to do this, but wait till you see this building over here. Okay, so that's the, the house. This, I believe, is like the factory. I don't know for sure. The art gallery, the... There's a big sign that says it's hiring right now. Anybody want to work for Mackenzie Child? Because they are hiring right now. Oh, oh I see a rabbit. I see a rabbit, right? Oh, look at the rabbit statue, guys. Oh, look at... Oh, and it's a checker. It's a frog chair. It's a frog chair, guys. Look at from this side, it's a little frog. And from the other side, it's a chair. Is that not adorable? Oh my gosh. O-M-G. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna come back here tomorrow. I just don't know where I'm gonna sleep tonight. I don't wanna have to drive an hour to stay somewhere and then come back. I couldn't bring Polly. I'm literally all by myself, which kind of creeps me out. I kind of like having a dog with me. But Polly would have had to go to the vet and get paperwork and stuff because crossing the border is a little iffy right now with dogs. Oh, listen to the animals. Can you guys hear them? I am at Mackenzie Childs. I can't believe I'm saying that. Wait till you see this, okay? So. Is that not like a romantic castle-y kind of idea? <gasps> so pretty. And then here. Ah! And then it continues down here. And then in behind this, there's another wing that comes out. This place is huge, guys. But let's go take a sneak peek. Let's go take a sneak peek. Until someone kicks me out, okay? I'm literally here by myself. Look at the parking lot. There is nobody here except for my van. Nobody. <laughs> and that one car that went the other direction. So they've got this big teapot that says staff only. Here, let me see if I can turn the camera, okay? Just give me a second. You'll probably get a better view if I could do this. There we go. So there's the staff only area. And from in the window, like it's pretty but I don't see anything wow there, okay? Now, I don't know what's behind these doors because it's very dark, but look at those doors. And look at that ceiling. Is that not awesome? Okay, but you ain't seen nothing yet. <gasps> Cindy, <sighs> it's Mackenzie Child Estate. Okay, look at this cute little fence. And then she's like the little and pieces on it. Look at the cité. Look at that. Look at the buffalo plaid, or the buffalo plaid, the check. <gasps> mm. And guys, I gotta say, you know how we always worry about perfect check? They're not perfect. That's what makes it perfect. And then we've got some more check in there. Look at the cool design in the back of that chair. So gorgeous. So gorgeous, guys. It's getting dark. We won't be able to see much soon. Look at this. Oh, guys. Who is she? What do you mean, who is she? She is the king of check. Oh, I didn't notice the light before. Oh, on the outside, it's check and stripe. And on the inside, oh, you can't see it, but it's the most beautiful pink flowers and polka dots. Oh, gorgeous, but let's peek inside the window. Is that not dreamy? Look at that. Oh, that little, that little thing right there. What do you call it, a little side table? Look at the pumpkins. Oh my gosh, guys. Look inside. This is the little gift shop area. Oh. She is the king of check. Now, Mackenzie doesn't actually live here anymore. For the story goes, I think she went bankrupt or something. Don't get, don't, like I'm not, you know, I don't know facts, but 
check out these pumpkins. And I would never think of putting a pumpkin on its side, upside down like that, but look how cute it is on that shelf. Oh, so dreamy. Y'all, is that not gorgeous? Look at the stack of pumpkins back there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Can you see that stack? Oh, and then there's the, like the vine growing out of it. Wow. It is gorgeous in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And every time I look, there's something new. I love the old cabinet back here. That old cabinet is gorgeous. It's got like the bins at the front, like an old, um, we would have called it a granary where you buy your flour and stuff like that. But, And then there's some pumpkins that aren't checked. They just have the gold stripes. Let me zoom out. Gorgeous little sitting area out here. So I'm assuming there must be a little bistro maybe. Oh, so anyways, I've got to find a place to stay tonight close to this so that we can come back tomorrow. But just imagine if it's this gorgeous from outside. Oh, it's got to be stunning inside. It is, oh, so dreamy. But there's horses, there's sheep, there's, I don't know if they're ducks or swans. So pretty. And oh, so now I'm honestly tempted to sleep in their parking lot. Oh, look at the, okay, let's see if we pick it up. Oh, look at my van with that beautiful sunset in the background. Guys, I'm tempted to sleep in their parking lot, but... I don't know if I'll get a knock on the door from the cops in the middle of the night, but I want to be here tomorrow to go through it. So I don't want to drive too far away to get a place to stay. And for those of you that don't know, that's a camper van. There's beds in there. But look at that sunset. Okay, so there's two vehicles way over there. This is the rest of it. There's a whole other section back there. This place is huge, guys. Huge. So I'm assuming that's the factory because there's a big sign out front that says they're hiring. Because I got to find a place to stay tonight. I have no idea where to stay. But like I said, I'm tempted to sleep in their parking lot, but it, they might get mad. <laughs> it looks bright and beautiful, but it is really getting dark here. Oh, so gorgeous. I pulled up and my, my heart was like in the back of my throat going, oh! <laughs> it's so stunning. Oh, I'm trying to be safe, but I don't know where to sleep tonight. I'm really not quite sure yet. Look at that bright color of like reds and fuchsias. Oh. Okay, anyways, I best go find a place to sleep. <laughs> I stopped here and I was like oh no it's closed and then I had to charge up my phones so I got one phone charging in here the work phone and uh, now I'm gonna use that one to get to my next location and then this one I will be charging so that's my little bed I've got no lights on right now but and I'd hate to have to wake up in the middle of the night and be half asleep and then have to drive somewhere um, so if I got the knock on the door in the middle of the night, it would suck to have to drive half to half asleep. So I think I'll probably go and find another place. But I've kind of been hoping because I've been walking. Whoops! I've been walking around for about an hour. I was hoping because there's a, two cars over there, and I was hoping that some workers would come out and be like, "Hey, what you doing?" And I'd be like, "Can I sleep here?" And they'd be like, "Of course you can." That was my dream. You know how dreams are. They don't come true. Nobody came out. <laughs> And so I decided to sit there for a bit, charge my phone, and well, I got brave. And yes, I spent the night. <laughs> but first I sat out here and just, oh, admired the gorgeous view. Anyways, I'm going to take you for quite the adventure in the morning. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notifications because the next video you will not want to miss. Thanks for watching.